Silver happens to be the number one conductor of electricity. So that's one of the reasons they use that. And just to help our viewers understand the difference, a uh, critical metal is essential for economic activity. And for a given country with somewhat limited access to resources of that metal, a strategic metal is essential for military and government activity. And so for that country, uh, and they need it, but they have limited number of sources that are largely in other nations that might be unwilling to trade for it or even a stable source for them to get it from. So it's critical that you understand this and to talk about what's critical versus strategic, there's a few different things that we could look at for silver's role as a critical metal. Uh, specifically, you mentioned defense because silver is utilized in missiles, uh, systems, radar, advanced electronics. Silver happens to be the number one conductor of electricity. So that's one of the reasons they use that. And just a fun fact, it's estimated that there's about 50 million ounces used annually just for defense. And large missiles contain about five ounces of silver each. And imagine how many ounces of silver just fly through the air when we saw the, the Russia-Ukraine tensions. We saw the tensions in the Middle East with Israel. Um, that's a lot of silver that's used in all of these missiles. And every internal combustion engine, an ICE vehicle, there's about a troy ounce, one to three ounces uh, per vehicle, according to the Silver Institute World Gold Council, and just the hiring, the radio, things of that nature. Electric vehicles use about 50% more just for the production. In fact, it said uh, the Silver Institute a couple years ago, it's, it could be as high as an entire kilogram or 2.2 pounds of silver between the, the electric batteries and so on and so forth. So there's a huge demand for that. 